Hello again, Fizzles family and friends. This is the daily pastoral message for Tuesday, July 28. And today I'm coming to you a little bit differently than usual. My reading for today is actually the lectionary gospel for this Sunday, which I will be preaching on, but I wanted to use it as a way to kick off a special event, a special announcement that I'll make today. It is Matthew's version of the feeding of the 5,000 found in Matthew chapter 24, excuse me, Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 through 21. And we find these words. Now when Jesus heard this, that is the execution of John the Baptist, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away, so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered, ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. On Sunday during the sermon we'll talk more about this passage but for the purposes of my announcement today I wanted us to remember that Jesus in addition to speed, feeding us feeding us and feeding the crowds spiritually also was concerned that their needs for physical food were met that they were not left physically hungry and so we know that because of COVID we had to cancel one of our big events of the year our Fizzle's 50s flashback. And so I thought, what way to replace that by doing ministry in Jesus' name? And so I wanted to announce a major food drive that I'd like to see us do in the month of August, our Fizzle's Feeds 5000. And so for starting this Sunday, in addition to our backpack and school supply offerings, I wanted to start this food drive and continue it with each Sunday throughout August where we can hopefully feed perhaps as many as 5,000. That seems to be a lot but as we know from our gospel story miracles can happen and so I invite you to join together as our congregation has always been generous to beginning this Sunday and continuing through August to have our Fizzles Feeds 5,000 food drive in addition to our to bringing whatever food, uh, non-perishable food items that you can bring. The food pantry, the Southern New York Food Pantry would also like toiletry items, personal care items, toilet paper, things like that, that they donate to those who utilize the services. The time here in the COVID pandemic has placed increased stress on food banks as people facing financial difficulty have greater food insecurity. And so this is something I feel that God is calling us as a congregation to do, to follow again in Jesus' way, to follow Jesus' path of discipleship that he made clear to the disciples when he said, you feed them. He is telling us that we should feed those in need as well. So I invite you to join together as our Fizzles family in our Fizzles Feeds 5000 Food Drive event. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you, O Lord, that you care for us spiritually as well as physically. Inspire us, O Lord, to follow in your footsteps, O Jesus, to feed the masses, to meet those who have the physical hunger, and by doing so that we will help them spiritually as well as we help nurture our own lives spiritually by giving of ourselves that your people may have their hunger met their hunger satisfied. Lord, we thank you for the time to come together to 
share in our community, to share in our life together as a congregation called to be your disciples. We ask you, O oh Lord, to help each person affected in this time of pandemic in whatever way, particularly those who have greater need for food, who are suffering food insecurity, who are suffering hunger. Help us to be part of that solution. Be also with those who are suffering physically from this time. Send your healing spirit to them. Send your spirit of consolation to those who mourn and your spirit of encouragement to those with anxiety or depression and your spirit of protection and encouragement to those who are providing services, especially those providing health care. And we'll be sure to always give you praise, honor, and glory. In your holy name, O Christ, we pray. Amen. I look forward to coming to you daily with more messages and then gathering on Sunday for our Communion Sunday worship where we will have the blessing of the backpacks and the beginning of our Fizzles Feeds 5,000 Food Drive. Until we talk again tomorrow, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and I know the God who feeds us spiritually as well as physically is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now. Thank <laughs> you.